what's up guys you're welcome back to my channel in this video i'll show you how to make this dress with draped neckline so let's get started to cut this dress you fold your fabric into two places and we're going to cut the back bodies first and then you take the length of the dress for mine i have 43 inches and then i added two inches to it so i have 45 inches i'll come over here and take my shoulder measurement so you divide your shoulder measurement by two i have eight inches and then i'll remove one inch so i'll have seven inches and then i'll take the armhole measurement with nine inches so i'll mark it here I used nine inches for the armhole on this line i'll take my bust measurement so you divide your bust measurement by four i have nine inches and you mark it here and then for the waist measurement we use 16 inches so you place your tape here and mark 16 inches so i'll mark it here so on this 16 inches line you take your waist measurement you divide your waist measurement by four for mine, I have eight and a half, and you mark it here. For the hip measurement, you place your tape here again and mark 24 inches. Sometimes you can use 23, and sometimes you can use 24. On the hip line, you take your hip measurement and you divide it by four. So mine, I have 10 and a half, and then mark it here. And then on the bottom, you just use your hip measurement minus one inch. So I have nine and a half. And then you mark it here. So I'll connect all the lines together. On the shoulder line, you use half an inch. You mark half an inch, I mean. And on the armhole, you mark one inch. And then you connect the half an inch to your shoulder line. And then for this one inch we use it for the armhole curve and then i've connected all the lines together so i'll go ahead and cut so here's the back bodies for the neckline i'll use three inches i'll mark it here and then mark one inch for the depth and then mark it here like this And then draw a curved line here and then cut i'll go ahead and measure this part out so i have four inches now just fold these pieces and then use place this on it to cut the facing for the back neckline and then cut it out so here's the facing for the back neckline to cut the front bodies you fold your fabric into two places and then you add three inches to the length so for the back bodies i have 45 inches and for the front i'll have 48 inches and then you fold it wider also i'll use this line as a base for my measurement and then i've marked out three inches from this line so you go ahead and mark out three inches on this line i'll take my shoulder measurement so you divide your shoulder measurement again by two so i have eight inches and then i'll add two inches to it so divide your shoulder measurement by two and then add two inches to it and then i'll and then i'll place my tape like this in a slanted form and mark out the four inches I got from the back bodies. Again, I placed my tape like this and marked out four inches. So I'll just connect these lines together. And then on this line, I'll mark out nine inches for my armhole. So I'm placing my tape like this and then I'll mark out nine inches. So I've marked out nine inches for the armhole. I'll just draw a curved line like this. 
so here's my shoulder line four inches here's my armhole nine inches and on this three inches mark i'll just draw a line like this a slant line down to this place I'll just go ahead and fold this in and then place my back bodies on this part the next thing is to place your back bodies on your front bodies and then you place it on the same line at the bottom and then just cut it out and then I'll cut it out when I get to this spot I'll stop and take my back bodies off cut on the red line so here's my front body the next thing is to go ahead and sew the face in together with the back neckline so after turning the back neckline you go ahead and join the shoulders together with the right sides facing each other, you pin the shoulders together and then you take the 3 inches turning and fold it over to the other side. And then you sew them together. So you just flip the 3 inches turning to the other side to cover the back neckline or to cover the back shoulder. So after sewing the shoulders together, this is what you have. So you have the stitch part inside. The next thing is to go ahead and join the sides of the dress. To join this dress, you place the both armholes together, the back and the front, and then you sew from here down to the end of the dress. So after joining the dress together, I discovered that the front part is a bit shorter. So I'll go ahead and cut it and cut off the edges at the back. <laughs> just make small stitches with my sewing machine to keep the facing down lastly you go ahead and hem the armholes and then you hem the bottom of the dress and that's it please like and share this video and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not i love you for watching thank you